we got some drama to talk about hey everybody what's going on welcome back to another video so today i wanted to talk about the kodansha tokyo revengers thing because this has been something i've been wanting to rant about from kodansha for a while this is just a good opportunity to do so because it's the most recent case of this so if you did not know kodansha recently made a tweet or post about a one of their live streams uh, i've never watched one of them before but apparently they do these semi-regularly and in the tweet they said something about big exciting news for and of course we all know what everyone jumped to they jumped to the conclusion of a physical release announcement and that did not happen and i've seen uh you know kind of both sides of this some people saying that those people are being entitled for thinking that because they never explicitly said that was going to be the case but i don't really like this argument because they were obviously clickbaiting people into it if you say that you have a big announcement about a current you know super popular series whether it's fair or not people's minds are going to jump to the physical release, what they want. And Kodansha knew that. That is why they put that in that tweet. And clickbaited people, let's just call it how it is, clickbaited people into going to the stream, setting themselves up for disappointment. Now, I do think what they did announce is pretty cool. A Q&A with the mangaka of Tokyo Revengers, which is a pretty cool announcement in itself and is really awesome that they're able to do. But when you lead everyone on with their phrasing, they're going to assume it's a physical release. That's just the reality of the situation. Because, of course, Tokyo Revengers is a digital-only uh, release from Kodansha right now. You can only buy the volumes digitally through any sort of, you know, ebook service, I'm sure. I don't know how many people I speak for, but I did not even know that they had this license and that they had been publishing these volumes digitally. I just thought no one had the license for it yet, and that is kind of where my rant with Kodansha begins these digital only manga they have so many series that me myself and i'm sure many of you would be surprised that they have that are digital only it seems like they make almost no effort to promote this digital catalog and there's no way to know about it until stuff like this happens because my first reaction to when i heard about this situation was wait Kodansha has the rights to Tokyo Revengers? It's just ridiculous that they're still doing this because from a business standpoint, it just makes no sense. I know what some of you may say, oh well, it's a big risk to print a manga because it costs more because it is much cheaper to do it digital only because, you know, you have less people to pay, whether it's the printing company and whatnot. However, this cycle goes, by doing digital only, you cut that out so the publisher takes a bigger cut. That is undisputably true. However, the loss of a physical release is really dumb for Tokyo Revengers specifically because it's such a big and popular series. And I know some of you may also say, well, it's only popular now because of the anime. And yes, the anime has boosted its popularity unquestionably, as the adaptation has seemed to be quite good. I've been watching it myself and have really been enjoying it, but it was super popular before the anime. The manga was selling quite well, it has well over 200 chapters, and even in English it had quite an established fan base from the scanlations it was getting. And the fact is, now the anime is out and people want to read Tokyo Revengers, they have no books out. It's only digital, and let's just keep it real. If people only have the digital-only book option, or they can just go read the scans, what are people gonna do? They're gonna go read the scans. So, I just don't get it. 
manga collectors have proven that they love physical. Now, I understand, can every series be physical? No, but Kodansha is printing garbage way less popular than Tokyo Revengers physically, and they can't do Tokyo Revengers? It's just, it makes no sense to me. Anime creates a big boost in sales for the manga. That is undeniable. The problem is with Kodansha, and I've seen this in the past from them as well, they wait until the anime is, like, over, and then start printing them physically, starting with Volume 1. This is just ruining the hype train that the anime creates that can drive up your sales. By the time you finish the anime, and you see the physical manga announcement, but it's only Volume 1, you'll be like, Oh, that's cool, it's finally getting a release, but I can't continue off from the anime. I'm gonna have to wait however long. And then interest is just going to go down. Look at Viz Media, for example. Most of the time, they seem to have series in print physically before the anime comes out. Like, let's use Demon Slayer and Jujutsu Kaisen as an example. Both of those got physical English releases before their anime came out. So by the time the anime came out and the hype grew for both of them, they already had quite a few volumes out by that time. And look at it now, even still, so many of those volumes are out of stock because people want to buy them and read them from where the anime left off. So starting to print them only when the anime ends is taking away all those sales from yourself because your product is not there for the demand because it's coming in too late. And this, I just know is going to happen as well with another Kodansha series that I only found out they licensed, you know, recently as well, in Blue Lock. I love Blue Lock. It's one of my favorite ongoing manga right now, and it's rumored to be getting an anime soon. And if the anime is from any studio worth their salt, it is going to blow up. I guarantee you it's going to blow up. And this same situation is going to happen again. There's going to be no physical volumes because it's digital only, and they are going to wait until after the anime is done to print a physical volume and lose sales again and miss the hype train completely. And this is just so frustrating to me and many others who want to go out and collect these series. Manga has a big physical collecting community. I'm not sure of the sale ratio of digital to physical. I was not able to find any stats on that. But just from the big community here on YouTube and all sorts of social media and just going into stores and seeing people always in the manga section, I would be willing to bet that the majority of manga sales are physical volumes. Is Tokyo Revengers going to get a physical release? Probably. Probably once the anime is done airing, if I had to guess. But this situation is just so frustrating, and I've seen happen with Kodansha in the past, and see it happening again in the future with probably Blue Lock, and probably some other ones into the future. Maybe making our voices heard, you know, maybe get Kodansha to wake up a little bit, but who knows. You know, as I said, it's just a really, it's a really frustrating situation, but... I just wanted to rant about this because I think it's important to make this a conversation so we can get our word out there and, you know, maybe it'll reach something and we can make a change for the best, but even if not, just keep it honest and keep these companies accountable. Thank you guys for watching. Felt nice to get that out, do a little rant. Let me know in the comments what you think about the whole situation. Uh, if I missed anything, please feel free to let me know in the comments. And yeah, see you guys in my next video, and peace out, and please, please publish Tokyo Revengers. See ya.